I'm David Sarkozy and this is Skip Albany and we're here at Anahuac Wildlife Refuge for Featherfest. We're leading a guided birding tour throughout uh, the Anahuac Wildlife Refuge. They might, they might be a glossy. He has got that kind of neck now that I see him. Cool, what is it? That's a little blue heron coming into adult plumage. They, at one time they thought that was a separate species and it was known as the calico heron. So King Rail from Clapper Rail, King Rail has, uh, is kind of an all dark cinnamony color and they have a dark back and the feather edges on the back have brown edges. And so uh, that gives them a nice clean, I think real dapper look. They also like fresh water as opposed to salt water, like the Clapper Rail. So and this is all rain water here, so this is all nice fresh water. Got a lesser yellow legs in the scope. Three, yeah. The, the, yeah, the little hackberry, the kind of the small one in the foreground. And then just look left of it, behind it, you just right above the Turk's cap, and you'll see a whole tree full of birds. White crown. I thought I saw a female rose breasted grosbeak fly out of the tree, but I can't find it now. I think that's an immature rosebreast, uh, blue grosbeak. beak. Oddly, there's a kingfisher flying over here. Yeah, it's not where you expect to see a kingfisher. It's in the citrus family, but the bees love these blooms. This is also the local host plant for the giant swallowtail. Okay, we're hearing black belly whistling ducks. I just don't see them. There they are. There they are. Here they come. Four black belly whistling ducks. Look for the big white patch on the wings, and then they have the dark black belly and orange bills. Now, 20 years ago, that was a very rare bird in north anywhere north of the Rio Grande Valley. So here we have a, a medium-sized alligator, but look how puffed up he is. <laughs> He's probably digesting something, so they kind of ferment their meat. And so after they eat, they kind of sit in the sun and warm up, and that helps them digest it, and it gasses up, and they get all puffy. So it's a least sandpiper and a lesser yellow legs. Oh, so in the middle of the pond is the yellow legs. And then, see where the one, the stilt landed, that one that hopped, that's the least, probably the yellow rail bus. Yeah, it is, because that's Patrick. So here's, here's the, these are long-billed dowichers. So it, it, it's described sometimes as it looks like they just swallowed a whole grapefruit. I don't see any. I think sometimes they just give each other the willies and they all jump. Well, the other thing is that every now and then Verizon sends out a signal that says move and they all kind of jump around. <laughs> there are in the rail family. Um, they are the, the bird that the Toledo mud hens are named after. Uh, they are breeders here in small numbers. And uh, you'll see their chicks with a red spot in the middle of their forehead in about a month if there's any around. And a red eye. And a bright red eye and then that white bill. So there's these blue-white lines around in the, what they call the lore, that skin between the eye and the bill. He's got rusty legs. See how his wings look greenish too? So what you're looking at out here, where like up here we have the fulvus ducks all standing around and they put 36 terraces in here uh, right after Hurricane Ike and they were specifically there for the wild, wildlife and the waterfowl to use as uh, just resting and roosting places. And they do make the water, the wildlife viewing a lot better.
That's a Baltimore Oriole flying through there. It's not a real bright one, but the, it, up in that hack there is a Baltimore Oriole. Those are short-billed dowitchers. Okay. So they have wide margins on the back. Yeah, those are dowitchers. Yeah, these are short-billed dowitchers. So they look kind of lighter overall. Uh, the black bill and the yellow tip of the sandwich. No, I know what they're Oh, the common terns? Yeah, so right up close here we have common tern with the dark carpal bar. So over here we have uh, herring gulls in several different age groups here. So you have immatures, probably first and second cycle, plus some adults. Have we found a Caspian yet? So look at the great egret. So only for a few weeks in the spring when they're in breeding do they have the emerald green on the face. And this guy is nice and bright emerald green. Oh, look at the tricolored up close here. You can see the nuptial plumes. That's a tricolored. Louisiana heron. Oh, he's not very big. See, look, he's chasing fish. Watch the fish he's disturbing in front of him. Oh, look, he's getting ahead of him. He tried. Something on camera. Oh, come on. Come on, I want you to catch something.